everyone. In this video, we're going to work on closed position moves, which can be fun as starter steps, but also integrated into the middle of your dance. We're going to bring Shane into this picture here. All right, good. So if we started this modern drive move in closed frame, we don't want to be in a hurry to move the girl and fling her out, slingshot her into um, a pattern. We want to relax so we can go one, two, three, four. Now I know I've got her in on the correct foot. Five, six, seven, eight, open. One, two, three, four. And then ready, five, six, seven, eight. If I was actually in the middle of the dance and I felt like there was something that was coming softer, I needed to slow my movement down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we would again start our dance. So let's just break that down a little bit give you an idea of some of the things we're doing. First of all, connection. You'll see this in other videos. We talk about being on that lat area of the girl and that the girl connects with the right hand across the deltoid. That's the most comfortable for the guy and it gives the best connection to be able to move in and out through our connection as well. And I know in other videos extension. we've talked about this frame, but we really need to make sure that the follows are magnetizing their shoulder blade. They're actually pulling their core back. That doesn't mean they're pulling their leader off balance. Yes, the or head's not going back. Heavy, right? It's not that we're a wet towel over the towel bar, but we are connecting to that so we're not just floating free. Yeah, this. so you're staying back in the connection through the core, and that allows us to move because we don't want to be in a hurry to move out, no matter really what the music's doing. We want to relax. So when I'm ready and I'm on the correct foot, it's really easy to get rotation. Now to show that movement from here, we're connected. This allows me to make sure the girl's on the correct foot. However many beats I want to spend there, we just spend five. Then I just paddle my hand in, that gives me rotation. So inward being fingertips toward your own ribs, leaders. And then I move out on my left, right, left, right. So when you're creating space in your armpit so I can walk. Yeah, so there's plenty of room there. Then when I get into a position where I feel like, oh, I've got good connection, I open the hand, not too far, but I paddle it out. That allows the girl to rock back there so I can bring her forward on that left foot so she can do a turn. And then I just let her go. I breathe because I've done a free spin. I don't know how many turns she's going to do, how long she's going to take, but I get ready. I offer whichever hand I want, cross hand, left to right, normal hand hold, right to left, and then when I'm ready, we can start our dancing again. Now, if we start from close position, let's walk through that with counts, because I'd like to show two ways that the ladies can do their footwork. All right, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, I'm going to go forward as I open my right hand, my hand opens up, paddles open, boom. Now I'm connected as I come back to the girl, I move her forward, I free spin her off, and I collect my feet, make compression, and then send her away. Now in that demonstration, I used simple and traditional footwork, but what I'd like to do is give a little bit of a hitch ball change or a kick ball change oh, option. Cool. And you'll see other videos where we have how to add hitches and kick ball changes to your dance. So, so let's just do start that. Start again. Oh, from the top? Yes. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Now on one five and two, because we're accenting the phrase perhaps if it's a one or a five, we can do a kick or a hitch ball change in place of your rock step and he paddles you off and you're back to a traditional timing in your downbeat. Now I could go and step and be ready to go out. So I could have a little funky cool change there as well. So I think that should be enough information for you on that movement. The only other thing is if I were dancing my basic patterns, whether I brought the girl in the clothes here and shut it off, whether I thought, oh, I was here in push break position and I roll her through, I make connection and then I can do it. So just think there's plenty of time to um, practice those movements, take your time, it doesn't matter how long you spend here, 
And then once you get that worked out, you'll be able to add that into your dancing very comfortably.